Weeks of sit-ins and protests at Gardner's office have had an impact. The senator's moving his office. Number 7's Jacqueline Allen's live outside the new digs. Uh, Jacqueline, the, these are uh, a little harder to get into. That's right. You know, starting Monday, Senator Gardner's office will be here at the U.S. Custom House, a federal building a couple of blocks from his old office. But in that old office, you could basically walk right in. Here you have to go through metal detectors, U.S. Marshals, and the building is closing at 6. No sit-ins. If you refuse to leave, you could face federal charges. Senator Cory Gardner's office had become ground zero for high-profile protests against the Republican health care plan. Rather go to jail than die in a nursing home. But all this controversy didn't sit well with management and other tenants in the private building. Gardner's office was told they were in violation of their lease, so Gardner's office complained to police. Rather go to jail. And several demonstrators were handcuffed. While the senator now says he wants to drop charges, the city attorney is still considering the cases. A black eye for the Republican leader. So even though the decision to change offices seems sudden, Gardner's office says moving to a government building has been discussed for a while, stating, we were in a commercial building where we had private businesses as fellow tenants. When there were large groups of people in our office, it created challenges for some of the private businesses. And Gardner's office says all Coloradans are welcomed in this new office space. I talked to members of ADAPT, those group of protesters that you saw. They say they look forward to meeting with Gardner in his new office space soon. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.